have a selective advantage, they're quickly selected out and they basically cease to exist. So if it has a growth advantage as well. And they've designated new variants based on uh, genomic features and growth. So that makes sense. Now, this is the code they seem to be using. Now, they don't actually put this anywhere, but this is what I've worked out it to be. So X seems to be the code for BA1. E seems to be the code for BA2. And X and F are both deltas. Now, th these are just genetically different forms of deltas, but they are both uh, deltas. So, so there we have their new uh, classification that they, uh, the British authorities are using now. So um, <clears throat> two are a combination of Delta and BA1. So it gets a bit confusing here, but XD and XF are combinations of Delta and BA1. Now we were calling this uh, Omicron. Um, Delta cron. People were talking about Delta cron, combination of Delta and Omicron. So that is those two. So XD and XF. Remember, but we're we're talking here about uh, XE, which is the one that's more prevalent in the UK. So XD, which remember is a combination of the Delta and the Omicron. A few cases in France, Belgium, and Denmark. Not that many. Literally uh, a few tens of cases. An XT, which is another combination of uh, Omicron and a different form of Delta. There was a small cluster de detected in the UK, but has never been seen since the 15th of February. So it looks like that one has now uh, died out. And as we said, these are going to come, they're going to go. They die out if they don't have a selective advantage. So that one doesn't seem to exist anymore, but this one does seem to have a few cases in Europe. So that one there is the Delta Cron, the combination of the Delta and the Omicron. I hope this is making sense. The way I've written it down is, is correct. Um, but it, it, it is quite fun to follow. Um, so there's one recombination of BA1 and BA2, and this is XE. So this is the one that's become more prevalent up to about 1% of cases in the UK. So this is an Omicron Omicron. It's not a Delta Omicron. It's not a Delta Cron or a Omi Delta or anything like that. It's an Omicron. Omicron, it's the BA1 and the BA2. So that's the key thing to remember. XE is a combination of BA1 and BA2 recombinant as a result of a co-infection. Uh, XE, evidence of community transmission within England, currently about 1% of the total sequence cases. And the UK sequencing, um, we're actually doing more sequencing in the UK than anywhere else in the world. We're not doing more per capita. Denmark has the, has the accolade for that, but we're doing a very large numbers of these. So this is being picked up quickly. So we could call this the British variant or the British recombination, but I think it's probably just because we're doing more and we've picked it up quickly. Uh, a, bit, a bit like Omicron was first picked up in South Africa because they do a lot of testing. Right, using the most recent data up to the 16th of